Hey guys, I'm Lauren with runholy.com. Today I'm going to continue talking about how to pray. I'm going to review really quickly. On the first couple of videos I talked about the importance of scheduling your prayer time each day and on organizing your time. I also talked about how spiritual fitness can be approached practically the same way that physical fitness can. And that means that you can choose different exercises to get you um, connected, to get you fit, basically, in only in a spiritual sense. And so in a spiritual sense, fitness is judged by, I feel like, is judged by your knowledge of God and growing in intimacy with Him. So uh, last time, let's see, we've talked about singing the Psalms, and then we talked about worship, and those I would both consider sort of a, a warm-up exercise because it is getting your heart engaged the same way that warming up in fitness does. It gets your heart going so that you're ready to handle the more intense part of the workout. And so now I want to talk about there are three more intense parts of your prayer time. Uh, I think that those would be called would be supplication, intercession, and biblical study. So um, today I guess I will talk about uh, supplication. And basically supplication is talking to God about your life and about your needs, uh, whereas intercession would be talking to God about the needs of others or the needs of a specific issue. Um, so what I would say is important in supplication is, you know, basically you want to pretend in supplication that you're talking to a really good father who is also a king who is able to do anything, basically. I mean, the Bible says that we ask him to do something, whatever we ask in his name, that he will do. Uh, in his name, I feel like, means along with the character of God. So, you know, you can't just ask for anything. This isn't a verse to make God like a genie in a bottle. But this is a verse saying that if you're asking in accordance with his will and his desires, and your desires are lining up with his, then he, then he will do whatever it is that you're asking. So I do go to God in supplication. I, I usually have a journal in front of me, and a lot of times I will write my prayers to him. I do that with intercession also. And I'll start the conversation just in a normal way, like I'm talking to a good friend or like I'm talking to my dad, and just talk to him about my life, talk to him about what's going on, fears that I have, struggles that I have. Uh, many times there are recurring issues. Uh, one of mine is body image, struggling with, not liking my appearance or um, so eating, overeating, under eating, um, whatever struggles I'm having in that area. Um, I'll talk to him about growing in the in faith and in the knowledge of him, the knowledge of the reality of him. Uh, maybe I'll talk to him about distrust that I've had with him. Maybe I've been worried about something and I'll just, I'll, I'll say, God, you know, I obviously don't trust you on the issue, let's say, of finances. You know, I had a, a week ago, I had a bill come up that was like $500. And I mean, it was just crazy, the stress that I felt in one moment. And I had to go to God that day and say, God, you know, I have, I have this bill. And I need the bill to be paid. I mean, well, I had the money to pay it. But, you know, I have these other financial needs and I'm going to need your help. But more important than the bill being paid or financial needs being met is the fact that it caused me to worry. And so then I need to go to God and say, God, I was worried. And so either I don't trust you to take care of me or I don't trust that you are who you say you are, who your word says that you are. And so I need to talk to you about that right now. And so I will talk to him about that and say, you know, my trust issues and then I'll find verses in the Bible and say God you know he that comes to you has to believe that you are and that you're a rewarder of those who diligently seek you I am one that diligently seeks you so I know that you will reward me um, my God shall supply all of my needs according to his great riches so I need to go to God and say your word said that you will supply all my needs so I know that you're going to because that's what your word says. And either I believe it or I don't. And either I believe all of it or I don't. And so if your word says that you'll supply all of my needs according to your great riches, then that's what I'm going to choose to believe. During the time of supplication, I'll be journaling. 
uh, I, I, I actually just write my prayers just like I just spoke out loud. I'll write down, you know, God, today I had a bill that was a lot. It caused me to stress out. Why don't I trust you? And that way I, I journal it because I, that way I can look back on the issues that I was having. Um, and so I think that it's important to journal. Just a second. Uh, uh, actually, I mean, I think it's vital to journal. That way you can look back on your journey with God and see how far you've come. Uh, and you can also look at recurring issues. You can look at verses that helped you in the past. So, um, so that supplication, always use the Bible to, when you're struggling in an area, always use the Bible to, to really um, renew your faith and your spirit and to feed your, you want to combat those struggles with scripture because the word is true and that way you can stand firm on that word and on his promises. So that's supplication and that's really all the, the tips that I have for that. Talk to God like he's a real person, like he's right there. Uh, journal and um, use the word in areas of struggle. Okay, and that's it. See you next time. Bye.